Does this look creepy? Like, almost haunting? If so, that's cool. Morning. This is my view today. No river view. Sad. I always have to leave the window open here because the air conditioning unit, like, it said it's 65. It is definitely not 65 degrees. And that thing just blows out warm air. Drives me nuts. So, if you're ever in Missoula and uh, you need a cool room, don't stay at the Double Tree. If you like warmth, stay at the Double Tree. It's perfect. And if you order breakfast from the Double Tree, uh, first of all, it's very expensive. It's like seven bucks for a cup of coffee. Not that I drink coffee, but let's be honest, every place gives you free coffee and they charge seven dollars. Um, uh, I got some eggs Benedict, it was $14. I called it in, over a half an hour later, I finally give up on uh, waiting for them to call my room to tell me it's ready so I can pick it up and go to work. Um, I never get a phone call, so I go down and uh, ask them and I say, hey, where's my food? And they go, oh, let me go check on it. And they go, yeah, we, we, we kinda got we kind of got a rush. Yeah, I, I, I understand that happens. But they bring it out in the bag like, like a second later, like it's been ready. And then I dig into it because I'm hungry. It's cold. So, uh, if you ever are adventurous enough to order breakfast from uh, Doubletree, make sure you have good patience and you are cool with cool food and not a cool room because their rooms are warm just like their food. Sorry, Doubletree, just keeping it real. I'm sensing a pattern. We must be in Montana. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bridge is out. How crazy is that? I wonder how close I can get to it. I'm on a road called Nine Mile Road. I bet it was a lot longer than that before that happened. It used to be like 20 Mile Road. And then it stopped. <laughs> well, here it is. That's cool. Wonder what it was. Like, is it trains or automobiles? Huh. Wonder if that was part of the road. We may never know. You know, it's kind of crazy how how uh, fire can change things from like lush green do you see here to uh, that yeah all the trees are uh, gone on the right welcome to St. Regis with Montana's largest gift shop and a free Montana trout aquarium oh well so this is what Montana's largest gift shop looks like. That moose is talking to me. And it's moving. Do you see it move? That's just creepy. Who wants to pay for water when you can get it for free? Right from Mother Earth. Just drink at your own risk. But uh, this is better than vitamin water. Because it's free. Holy Hanna-Barbera. It is pouring. And windy as heck. Like my car's getting blown all over the place. This is ugly, and like, just happened. Man. I swear I've seen more turkeys today 
than I've ever seen. Oh, that made him, like, stop and... I don't know what I just said, but it wasn't, come here. This is a cool bridge. It's along a cool river. It's only a one-way bridge. Oh, don't bugger off. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, little guy. How's it going? What's up? What you doing? Oh, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> There's cars behind me now. Way to ruin it, guys. Having a moment. So he turned around and he bet. Ah, he, oh, there he goes again. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if he's just hanging out there again. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Whoa, car. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Probably really look like a tourist. Like, every time I see a bighorn sheep, I'm always stopping for him. Not like stopping so I don't hit him, but stopping so I could get him on, uh, on video, because personally, I think they're cool. And I'm sure, you know, people around here think they're neat and all, but they're a dime a dozen. But I'm not from around here, so I don't get, well, I see them all the time. But, uh, I want to get them there so you could see them, because they're not a dime a dozen for you. And that's what this is all about. It's you, not me. So I do this for my people. You. You're welcome. Welcome to Montana, where you can go to Radio Shack and get guns and ammo, and a TV, and some RCA cables. Doesn't get any more redneck than that. So I know I've kind of shown you a little bit of Libby before. And just how they have kind of an affection for uh, bald eagles and stuff. But this is one of the city parks. Right along the river. Very pretty. But it is the Community Asbestos Memorial Project. Libby had a massive um, mining area. Uh that basically they mined asbestos. Then they had a massive mining disaster that gave everybody asbestos poisoning. And people to this day are still suffering from asbestos poisoning. So to make people in the community feel better, they gave them a park. That should cheer anybody up, right? I mean, who doesn't love a pretty park? I mean, look at it. It's pretty. Way to go, asbestos. Bringing the community closer together through a park. Today's top blockbusters, chart toppers, and best sellers. Perks of getting gas. You get to watch TV. How much is gas where you're at? 